Hey guys, this is Haley from OneOnRabbits.com and in today's video I have a super, super exciting thing to show you guys. Obviously from the title of the video you probably already know, but today we are taking down the bunny pens in the rabbit room. If you guys missed a video or two back, I moved Lulu into my spare bathroom for a lot of different reasons. You can go ahead and watch that video. It'll be linked in the iCard. But basically that means I didn't need Lulu's pen anymore, which means we can take down the whole pen system and give Sterling and Ebony the entire bunny room to themselves. I am so excited about this. The bunny room is actually fairly large. It's a very large size bedroom. So they are gonna have so much room to just run around, do whatever they want. But that also means I need a lot more stuff to fill it with. So that's gonna be pretty fun to get all of that stuff. But in this video, we are just taking down the pens. We aren't demolishing them. We are keeping them, you know, in case we need them in the future or for other projects. So we still have all of the walls and the doors and everything like that. But as you can see here, we are just kind of taking down the walls. My dad's doing most of the work. I look pretty awful in this video. So I apologize for that, but I was not feeling good that week. So ignore me. But taking down the center wall was actually kind of a pain because some of the screws were hidden underneath the pine paneling. So we had to take some boards off before we could actually unscrew it from the wall. So it was kind of annoying, but we got it done and everything was fine. So I also had to help carry the walls outside into the garage, which was a little bit difficult. I'm not the strongest person in the world. But after that, the walls were done and we were pretty excited, but we wanted to move the ramp because it's kind of in the middle of the room now and it doesn't really make sense where it is. And I kind of wanted it to be against the wall so that I had more floor space and it didn't like cut the room in half. Um, so we're kind of picking up the floor here a little bit and then discussing what to do with the ramp. At first we thought we were gonna have to cut down the shelf in order to make the ramp fit against that wall because there wasn't enough room. So we ended up taking the ramp off. As you can see, my dad's unscrewing it. As you can see, if we left the shelf where it is, the ramp literally runs into the wall, which the rabbits wouldn't be able to get out then. So we discussed it and we decided to take this shelf off of the wall, uh, just off of the brackets and unscrew it. So that's what my dad's going ahead and doing. And I am just sitting on the floor watching him because, you know, And then we also had to take off the little ramp because that was connected. And then we took the shelf out because we thought we were gonna cut the entire shelf down in the garage. And then here I am just picking hay off of this blanket because hay gets stuck in Sherpa material really, really bad. So just warning anyone who uses Sherpa, it's a mess with hay, <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. But then my dad comes back and brings the whole shelf back in and he said we didn't have to cut it after all. We just had to move it over a little bit and uh, so that the ramp would fit where we wanted it to. So that's what we ended up deciding to do and we just went ahead and screwed everything back in place or my dad screwed it all back in place. And then while he was doing that, I was just cleaning up, um, just kind of doing some laundry, cleaning up the floor, cleaning up all their toys, just kind of trying to get the room ready to set back up. And if you're wondering where the bunnies are in this video, they're actually in their hidey house in the corner where you can't see because the camera isn't over there, but they're in their little hidey house on their shelf um, and they were just hiding in there the whole time, but you'll see them come out in a little bit and start exploring. So there came Ebony, she was the first to explore. Sterling is actually a huge scaredy cat, so it, he always waits for Ebony to explore something first. Um, but there he goes up and down the ramp, just kind of figuring out what's going on. <laughs> He's so cute. And back he goes. <laughs> And 
And then we are finishing up cleaning everything so that we can set the room back up. I'm just cleaning litter boxes. My dad uh, is kind of vacuuming for me real fast. Uh, we had a lot of sawdust and a lot of hay on the floor from disassembling everything. So there really wasn't too much damage from the pens being up. There's a couple holes in the wall where the screws were and there's two holes in the floor where we had to screw the walls into the floor, but you can't even see it and we're just gonna fill it in with some like floor filler, I don't know what it's called. We also had to finish bunny proofing the rest of the bunny room. There are little gaps in the trim where we bunny proof the trim because the wall was sitting there. You can see one against that back wall. There's like a little bit of a hole. The next day, my dad actually put something over there. So I don't show bunny proofing the rest of the bunny room in this video. I don't know if I'm really gonna do a video about it because it's not that much that we're doing. We're just adding like a couple pieces of wood. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. So I'm just quickly setting up the bunny room. Uh, this is not how it's permanently gonna look. I didn't really know like exactly what I wanted the layout to the bunny room to be. I needed to figure out more stuff to put in it. Um, so I'm just adding this sheet that really doesn't match my theme, but it was clean. So I figured I just put that on there. And then when I do my final bunny room, like room tour and reveal. I will have everything set up a lot nicer with like matching colors and everything. But for today, I just kind of like quickly threw it together so that the bunny has had, you know, something to sleep in for the next little bit until I have everything that I want for the bunny room, so. You can also see there's a gap of plexiglass where the ramp used to come down. Uh, I don't know if it's shown in this video, but my dad actually did go ahead and put um, another piece of plexiglass over that hole so it's no longer there that it's completely plexiglassed in but I just thought I'd mention that because you can see them kind of sticking their head out through that hole but yeah that's basically it for today's video I know I rambled a lot but I'm just so excited to have the whole bunny room for Sterling and Ebony they absolutely love it I cannot wait to show you the finished bunny room and the reveal and everything be sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so that you know when I upload the next video and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon on a new video. Bye.